Welcome to Meadowbrook Lanes in Warwick, Rhode Island, where we are at the finals of the Rhode Island Duckpin Bowling Proprietors Association Tournament Series, and we are actually in the final match of this event, which is going to crown the, the season champion. In this match, you're going to see Mike Ware, who is the, uh, the survivor of the loser's bracket in this event, against Steve Lipke, who is the uh, who is undefeated, and he's in the uh, winner's bracket. Mike Ware starts off with a spare, and Steve Lipke with a strike. So Mike Ware, being from the loser's bracket, means that um, he lost his first match of the day, but has been undefeated since then. And in this double elimination format, that means that if Mike Ware defeats Steve Lipke, he'll have to beat him twice in order to win the title. Where if Steve wins this match, uh, he'll be the titleist immediately because he hasn't lost a match so far. So that's a 10 box in the second for Mike Ware. He's got 27 through 2. And I might add that this is a handicap event and with... Wow. And uh, Steve Lipke with a nice try on that 2-7 split, but it doesn't go. So um, I started to say Mike Ware is getting 39 pins per string, and Steve Lipke is getting 24. So it's a 15-pin differential there. And look at this nice try by Steve Lipke. He hits the 2-pin a little bit too thin, comes off the wall, and goes in front of the 7-pin twice. So he's got 28 after two. Mike Ware steps up in the third box and he's got a strike. Let's have a look at the replay here. You will see this is a pretty nice sort of a medium one three pocket hit and the five and eight are last to go. Strike in the third for Mike Ware. Steve Lipke with a nice one-two pocket hit, but the uh, the ball was deflected around the seven pin. It didn't run right down the one, two, four, seven. So he's got the five, seven, nine, pretty difficult split to convert. And that's a nice try by Steve Lipke, but he doesn't get the seven. So he will be open in the third. Steve Lipke with a 10 box. He's got 38 through 3. Mike Ware on the left lane, lane 11, and he almost has a double. Mike is a converted 10 pin bowler. He uh, injured his thumb a while back, and that made it difficult to throw a 10 pin ball, so he converted to duck pins recently, and he has uh, really picked it up quickly, as you can see. He's really bowled well this, this, uh, this whole event. And there's a strike by Steve Lipke. You'll see on the on the replay, he hits kind of a mixer in the one-two pocket, and that head pin goes to the sidewall and takes out the six and the five. And the seven probably would have head pin would have taken that anyway, but I think it was already down. In any case, it's a strike in the fourth for Steve Lipke as Mike Ware steps up in the fifth, working on that spare that he had in the fourth. He drops eight, leaving a. 3-6. Now let's see what he can do with this. He's got it. That gives Mike 75. Uh, 75 with a spare up in the fifth. Steve Lipke. A very light hit in the 1-3 pocket, leaving a 5-10 split. Let's see what he can do with this. A uh, nice bid right there. He comes to the left side of the five, but just gets a little bit too much of it to uh, slide it into the ten. So he's going to try and convert the ten for a ten box, and he does. So you can see the scores. Mike Ware with 75 and a spare up in the fifth to Steve Lipke's 67. And of course, those are the scratch scores. The handicap pins will be giving Mike a, a bigger advantage. And Mike with another 8 drop. He also leaves the 5-10. Just 
just as Steve Lipke just did. And he tries to convert it, but doesn't quite cut that, uh, doesn't quite catch the five. Man, he's got it for a 10 box. Mike Ware with a nice shot there. It's only a 10, but still a, a great shot. And you'll see that he just cuts that five straight over into the 10. That gives him 93 through the six. Steve Lipke now on lane 11. And wow, really a tough break there. He's just uh, had some, some splits here. He's really having a tough time getting uh, getting much to to fall when he, he hits the pocket. He's got that three, five, seven, ten, and he tries to catch the right side of the three and and uh, send a three and five over toward the seven, but he just didn't quite catch the three. So he will have another open box, and it'll actually be a seven, giving him 74 through six. Here's Mike Ware in the seventh. And Mike with a nine drop, leaving the five pin. Looked like some of that wood might take the five pin down, but nothing touched it. Now he's got the five. This clips it from the left side. It's a spare in the seventh. Steve Lipke. Wow, and again, Steve Lipke hits the head pin. And again, he leaves a split. He just can't seem to catch a break. He's got the 2 six, ten. and he tries to cut the 2 over into the 6-10, but just doesn't. Uh, he goes by the 2, so now he, he might just try to get the 6-10, get, get as many sticks as he can. And, wow, the, the uh, 6, let's, let's take a look at this. The, uh, he catches the left side of the 6-pin, and it goes off the wall and gets the 10, and then comes back back toward the bowler into the two. So that's a 10 for Steve Lipke. Now Mike Ware back up on lane 11 filling that spare. He is going to put five on it. So he's got 108 through the seven to Steve Lipke's 84. And good try for the spare, but he, he comes a little bit too full on the head to end. Still has the 2-4 remaining. And he just clips the 2 over. So it'll be a 9 for Mike Ware. 117 through 8. Steve Lipke. And would you believe it? Another another head pin hit and just a, another tough break. Let's see what he can do with this one. Wow. 2, 3, 6, 10. And he cuts the, the 3 pin over into the 2 which is the hard part of that shot, but the 10 didn't go. And we'll take another look at, at, at that after he uh, shoots the 10 pin and he converts. Let's slow this way down and you will see that he cuts that two, that uh, three pin right over into the two. He hits it really thin and hits it almost straight across. Great shot, but because the ball was hardly deflected at all, just barely touching the three, it ends up chopping the six off the ten instead of running running down the line three, six, ten. So it's a really tough break for Steve Lipke. Mike Ware with a six drop, leaving the one, two, four, eight in the ninth box. And he just goes by it. But Mike has a pretty substantial lead here in the ninth frame. It, it looks, it's really looking like he is going to win this this uh, first match of the, the double elimination final, and he will force a second and deciding match against Steve Lipke. Now Steve finally gets uh, a good result out of a pocket hit, leaving a, a nine pin. And wouldn't you know it, he goes by it. Sometimes when you have a lot of tough breaks like he's been having, when you finally do get something good to look at, you sort of feel like you have to make it because you're not going to get another anything to look at. So he, he may have just squeezed the ball a little bit too much and just ran it by that nine pin. In any case, 
Mike Ware is pretty much running away with this match, and uh, he's got another spare in the tenth box. That's going to give him 137 plus the fill ball, and this match is pretty much out of reach for Steve Lipke at this point. So Mike is going to uh, is going to take it to the last game with Steve Lipke. Mike Ware puts an 8 on the spare. He's got a, a 145 game scratch and plus the 39 handicap pins gives him a 184. So as Steve Lipke delivers in the 10th, he's got an 8 drop, leaving the 1-3 and he converts that. But that's not going to be nearly enough with, uh, with the game that, that Mike Ware just threw at him. So Steve Lipke throws well, it's going to be a nine fill. So, as you can see the scores, uh, Mike Ware has 184 to Steve Lipke's 147, forcing one more match to determine the RIDBA 2011 Tournament Series Champion. We'll be back with that match shortly.